Hey, how's it going guys? My name is King of Kings and today I thought I'd make a video that I've been meaning to make for a little bit, but I have a few friends that have recently started playing old school RuneScape and they asked me if I use a client and if I do, what are the perks to using the clients and what plugins do you use? In my opinion, RuneLite is by far the better choice because everything it offers is for free and it actually offers more than what OS Buddy offers. This is pretty much going to be for people that have never used the client because these are going to be very basic functions of RuneLite. When you first install RuneLite, it can be a bit overwhelming. As you can see, there are a lot of different options. I'm going to go over some of the most basic and some of the most used. Honestly, the biggest reason why I downloaded RuneLite is because you can see ground items highlighted. Let me drop this. Just like that, you can even change the colors of them depending on how much it's worth. You can also even highlight the items by holding alt and hitting the plus or you can make the items disappear by hitting the minus sign just like that if you're trying to get an item to drop and you're looking out for it you can go to the ground item setting hit the cog wheel and you can actually see here all of the hidden items that I have like water talismans bronze knives you know the basic shit but if you want something to be highlighted, you can type in the highlighted item section, the name of the item. For example, we'll just do, um, since I have it in my inventory, Barrow's Gloves. And then if you drop it on the ground, it's highlighted. So basically, if the monster drops the item, it will stand out. I'll actually give you an example here. I will highlight coins because guards frequently drop coins. And if they die and drop coins on the ground, they are highlighted just like that. Make certain things stand out if you are looking for an one item in particular. Another really cool feature is the examine feature. If you turn that on and you examine something in your inventory, not only does it give you the description, who said I'd never be royal, but it also shows you the GE average price and the high ALK value of the item. One thing that I find extremely useful is how detailed the combat level is. So it says I'm level 109.625 and it even shows you how many levels of each attack style you need to gain a combat level. So I need two attack strength defense or hit points levels or four prayer levels. Also another very popular feature is the clue scroll help feature. If you read a clue scroll here. You don't even have to worry about this. Normally you'd have to look that shit up, but look up here at the top. It tells you exactly where to go and what's required, which this one is just a dig step. So all you need is a spade. If by chance you get a puzzle clue, it will actually have arrows on the puzzle telling you exactly which piece to move where, and it makes it extremely, extremely easy. Instead of spending like 10 minutes on a puzzle, puzzles the puzzle boxes only take like 20 seconds maximum. Oh, and another new feature that they added to the clue scroll help. Not only does it tell you which items you need for your remote clues, but it also tells you if you have those items in the stash unit. This way you don't have to keep note or remember which stash units you have full. An extremely cool function as well is the XP trackers. So in order to track how much XP per hour you're getting, you can click on this button right here and bam, it shows you right there the amount of experience per hour that you're getting, the amount of experience you've gained, the amount of experience left towards your goal or towards the next level, and the amount of actions it takes to get to that level. If you don't want to keep this window open at all times, you can right click add to canvas and then anytime there is a UI on the screen, you can hold alt and drag it around anywhere you want. If you're streaming in full size and you want people to see your mini map and your health bar and everything like that, you can even move your your mini map around. Everything that is on the UI pretty much can be moved. Something else that comes in handy all the time are the farming trackers. You can select a little stopwatch here and you can either use it as a legitimate stopwatch or you can keep an eye on your farming patches and see which ones are done. It says my already patch is done and since I'm just sitting here thieving anyways, I might as well come over here and pick and replant some more herbs. 
So this one's actually a really fun one. This one is under the GPU settings. You can set the draw distance to whatever you want. I'm not sure what the max is, but basically what it's going to do is increase my view distance. Currently it's default to 25, but if I want to set it to 40, for example, hit enter, bam, increases the view distance. It looks as if 50 is the max. I could be mistaken on that, but based off what I'm seeing right now, it looks like 50 is the highest it can go. If I go to 55, it doesn't change. Now these two can come in handy at any given point. We have the grand exchange option. You can search the grand exchange for random item. Let's go with the adamant plate body since I have one. 9.5K on the, on the GE right now. And it even shows you the ALK value and the amount of plate bodies that you're allowed to buy within a four hour period. There's also the high score tab. So if I want to check out my Iron Man, all I gotta do is type in his name and bam, there's all my Iron Man stats and that stays up to date with the website as well. You can even check out ranks, combat levels, everything you want on here. And the last thing I wanna go over really quick is the loot tracker option. It keeps track of everything you've looted and it sections out each individual monster as well. Like earlier, when I killed the two guards to show you the highlighted coins on the ground, there's the two guards right there. And in this trip so far, I've killed 17 Karasks, which has amounted to 76k loot. 90.1k now, very nice. You can even check out how much each individual item has brought in. Of course, that's definitely not all the plugins, but I wanted to hit a couple of the basics just to help some people out if they need it, if they've never used any kind of client before, or if they have come from OS Buddy and they wanted to check out some of the plugins from RuneLight, Many of these will be the same as OS Buddy, but there are quite a few that RuneLight offers that OS Buddy doesn't, and there are quite a few that RuneLight offers for free that you have to pay for the pro version of OS Buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know this is a much different video than I normally post. Speaking of which, I do have an Iron Man series that I post pretty irregularly, but I do have a decent amount of videos that I can pop up on a playlist coming up on your left. If you'd like to catch any of the other videos that I do, whether they be Iron Man videos or Loot Crate videos or any other video ideas that I have, please hit that red subscribe button down below. It really helps out the channel and I appreciate it a lot. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have an amazing day. Until next time, peace.